I'm Dale Scott, Major League umpire for 32 years. I worked three World Series, three All-Star games, had 91 postseason games. I was also the first working male official to come out in uh, December of 2014. In uh, 1979, when I was 19 years old, is when I uh, finally figured out who I was and that I was gay. And even though I was okay with it uh, and didn't have any problems with it, I knew that you know, with society, it was uh, something I couldn't uh, just go out and tell everybody. I went to umpire school in 1981, and all through my five years in the minor leagues and uh, through the first really 15 or so years uh, in Major League Baseball, I actively tried to hide who I was. I, I didn't want anyone to find out that I was gay. Let's take a look at the umpires behind home plate, Rich Garcia. At first base, Dale Scott, Rick Reed at second base. Mike, who's my husband now, we met uh, right after my first year in the big leagues in October of 1986. And even though I wasn't out in baseball and I was making, you know, attempts to, to hide who I was, it was, uh, it was a double life for sure. So my baseball life when I was on the road, it was easy just to be Dale the baseball umpire, the straight baseball umpire. Um, but when I got home, uh, you know, I was, I was uh, actually who I was. Mike came on the road with me a few times and I was so um, paranoid of getting found out. I mean, we literally would take uh, separate elevators or separate uh, escalators because I was uh, afraid that one of my partners might, you know, right, run into him and, and then I'd have to explain, oh, this is, you know, Mike, a friend of mine from Portland or whatever. I just didn't want to, to do that. I mean, we literally would have room service and when the, uh, the person came to deliver our food, Mike would go into the bathroom, so you wouldn't see two guys there that were in a room with just one bed. I mean, that's how, uh, how paranoid I was. The Referee Magazine had done a, a story on my career, and this uh, article had talked to a couple people I went to high school with. You know, a lot of people in my past, uh, that was part of my path uh, to where I was, um, and I, it was a great article, a great story, but um, the year before, in November of 2013, Mike and I uh, finally were legally married. And I thought, you know, this whole thing, they've, they've talked to all these people, all these old friends of mine or whatever, and the one guy that's been on this journey with me ever since my first year in the big leagues, you know, who I'm now married to, uh, is not even mentioned in this thing. They asked for some pictures, so one of the pictures I wanted to uh, submit uh, was a picture of Mike and I. I submitted that picture with the caption, uh, Dale Scott and long t uh, with longtime companion Michael Rausch. You know, it's time. It just was time. It was time to throw it out there. What was kind of ironic about the, the whole situation was the magazine came out in, in late September and it was crickets, <laughs> absolutely crickets. I mean, Referee Magazine is just a subscription over, uh, a subscription only magazine, uh, kind of a trade magazine, like 40,000 people or whatever. Uh, there was one person though, it was a uh, major college football official who, who was gay, who's in the closet, but he saw this picture and he uh, got a hold of Outsports and they contacted me and they said, uh, you know, we'd really like to do a, do a, a feature interview with you. We did that uh, interview in November. It, it dropped on December 2nd. And unlike Referee Magazine, where it was crickets, uh, within a half hour, 45 minutes of, of the story hitting uh, December 2nd, uh, 2014, that morning, um, I it was a whirlwind. Dale Scott, a Major League Baseball umpire for the past 29 years, was profiled in a recent edition of Referee Magazine, and in it, reveals he is gay. Scott is the first male official in the NBA, NHL, NFL, or MLB to publicly say he's gay while active. The burden had been lifted off my shoulders. I, I finally felt like I was free uh, and, and, uh, and I was glad I did it. A spectacular setting here in Goodyear as Cleveland and Cincinnati are about to play their first game. Rod Culpo will call the balls and strikes today here in Goodyear on the bases. Dale Scott and Mike DeMuro. My very first spring training game, as I'm walking out with my partners, I'm thinking to myself, this is the first time I'm walking onto a field that everybody, I'm out there now. I finally felt for the first time in, a, in an umpire uniform walking onto a field that I truly was who I am. That game 
uh, Marlon Bird was playing for the Reds. Marlon comes up and goes, Dale! And he screams and he comes up and gives me a huge bear hug. And he's, as he's hugging me, he says, he goes, I'm so proud of you. You're free, brother. You're free. I'm so proud of you. Now, let me say most greetings from players are not bear hugs. <laughs> um, so that was a little unusual. Um, but it really meant a lot. The decision to come out is, is an extremely personal one. When I came out, I did get a, hundreds of emails um, and from all, all around the world. And one of the uh, emails I got that, that really touched me is uh, uh, from a uh, high school senior in the LA area. His goal was to be a major league umpire. He was also gay and he wasn't out. And, and when he saw my story, he, he, he sent me an email. And he told me that he, he had no real thoughts about coming out at all uh, until uh, my story then when we met. And he said, you know what? If he can do it, I can do it. And, and it gave him the courage and the confidence uh, to do it. And, he, and I, I just talked to him uh, the other day. Uh, and uh, you know, he thanked me again. He said, he goes, you, you, you were the, the fuel that, that you know, got me to go across that finish line. <laughs> it's Pride Month. I, I feel pretty proud about that. <laughs>